Hello, in this tutorial we're going to build an external list. Choosing add an app from the site actions menu, we can go through and select the external list app template, provide a name for our external list, and that's useful to display a name that will be uh, meaningful to the end users. And we can also choose the data source configuration external content type that we would have created earlier using SharePoint Designer or BCS Metaman. Now we can select from the external content type picker the external content type that we wish to use. So we're going to use the customer's external content type that we would have created earlier using BCS Metamap. Choose OK and then hit Create. The external list is created for us and it will also display under lists on the quick launch. So we can go through and navigate to the external list and you can see how the data has been provided. Now using BCS Metaman, I went through and I created multiple methods. So the first thing to point out is that we have our get all customers method, but we also have a German customers method as well. So we can click onto the German customers method and see all of our German customers in one place. So just as a, a recap, how we uh, were able to do that was once we had connected to the customer's entity, we went in, clicked configure entity, and under methods, we were able to add an additional method. And each additional method that we create will display as another view inside the external list and will also be available through the web parts as well. Another thing that we configured was a custom action. And that custom action will display when we click one of the drop downs for one of the customers. So notice we now have search for customer which we created using BCS Metaman as well. So using the drop down we can choose search for customer and notice that will open up a new tab with the google.com website and pass through the name of the customer and a, a search is therefore performed. So that saves your users a lot of time when trying to uh, look for customers with inside Google and obviously we could do the same thing with the likes of LinkedIn and so on as well. Users can also go through and modify rows so using the edit item option which in turn calls the updater method we can go through and set any value that we like so we will provide a value here as West Haddon and when I click on to save that value is written back to the underlying database. When navigating to the list ribbon, you'll also notice that you can build additional views manually if you want to, just like you would do if you were using SharePoint lists out of the box. Uh, we can also export to Excel and we can go through to the uh, list settings and refine the lists with other properties such as targeting or setting up permissions for the list and so on. So one of the nice things about the external list is the fact that the data doesn't actually reside inside a list itself, uh, the data is linked to and that means that once we go through and edit items or we delete items and so on, we're not going to occur any record locking issues or anything like that, but also we're not importing thousands of customers into the SharePoint content database. I hope this helps.